Hi everybody. Okay, next step is how to make an object change color or disappear. We're going to use this green circle here to show you how to do this. Um, so when I click on the object, you should be able to see what layer it's on, right? So it'll show you, it'll bop around down here in the layers as you move around on different objects. So I've got this large green circle here. Um, I've already in previous uh, tutorials put in keyframes. I've got a keyframe in the middle here and this frame here is exactly the same as the beginning frame. Currently all of these keyframes are exactly the same. So we're going to make some color changes and show you how to make them move and change slowly over time. First thing you want to do is put a classic tween in between the two keyframes. So right click to put your classic tween between the two. In frame 1 the circle is green. In frame 30, I'm going to tell the circle to be a different color, and then this tween here will slowly change that color over time. In order to do this, you need to actually select this specific keyframe key that you want to change the color in, and then you have to click directly on the object itself. Then in your properties menu, you're going to get something called color effect, and you just choose tint. Automatically, it will change to something, it will, it will go to the last default that you were working with, change it to something that interests you. You can just play around with this. It'll, this is the regular color and if you play with the tint bar 92% it changes it to this bright blue. You can also play around with all the other filters, red, green, and blue. The RGB colors that we talked about at the start of the year. Your, your, all the colors that your uh, screen produces. So you can play around with those and change the color. Then let's do the same thing. In here we can do a classic tween and essentially what we've done is we've told the green circle to change from green and make its way to pink and then make its way back to green. You could have this color change again if you wanted to. You could do tint again um, and you could just change it to something else. We could make a change to blue. So now it's going from green to pink to blue. And if you watch your movie, there's lots of things happening now. But specifically, what we've just done is change this so it changes color over time. To make something disappear is exactly the same process, just you use a different color type filter. So let's uh, choose something else. Let's get this. We've already done something with him. Let's choose this red planet here. In here again, control click, put a classic tween between your two keyframes. And in frame 30 of this little red dot down here, we're going to have it disappear. So you click on it, and under color effect, you choose alpha. Alpha is kind of like the opacity that you've played around with in um, Illustrator and Photoshop before. So if you actually watch that little red dot, you can see that at 100% it's totally clear, and at zero, it disappears. So there's the exact same thing happening there. So there it goes. And if we want it to reappear, since frame 60 is the exact same as frame 1, because we created this as a keyframe earlier on, all I need to do is put a classic tween on that again. And now it will be visible, slowly disappear, and then come back to visibility again. So let's watch the movie. So there he goes. He's blinking in and out. This guy is still changing colors. We've got somebody following a path, somebody growing and shrinking in size, somebody flying out. So you're getting a few more tricks and things that you can have happen in your animation. Okay, good luck.